Hey guys, Yitan here, and today I will be doing a video on a basic piano lesson and music notation. But let's start by the basic anatomy of the piano. Down there, you will have two pedals. The, the one on the far right is the sustain pedal, which we will explore in the future. And the far left one, its job is to get the hammers closer to the strings, making the sound a little more silent. Over at the middle, near your waist, you will have the keyboard, which consists of 88 keys. In the upright piano, you have this upper part, which contains inside the strings that are playing the music vertically. In a grand piano, this would be going backwards on the piano, containing the strings horizontally. To be able to understand and play the piano, we have to learn the seven basic notes. Their names being Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si. Let's go over it one more time. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si. On the piano, there are seven sets of these seven keys. These consist 88 keys of total on the piano's keyboard. To be able to write these seven notes on paper, we need a stave. A stave is five vertical lines on which you write music. To be able to define which of these 88 keys we're writing on that stave, we first need a clef. A clef defines the pitch in which we are going to be writing on. The two clefs used for piano are the sol clef for the right hand, meaning the higher sounds, and the fa clef, which shows the bass notes. In piano, the two clefs are read together and are written one under the other one on two different staves. The sol clef stave will be on the fa clef stave with a, a, a distance separating them in between. If you have already seen a written piece of music, you might have realized there is a fraction right next to the clef on the stave at the beginning. 4x4, 3x4 and 2x4 are the most common ones. They indicate how many beats are present in one bar. What is a bar? One bar is just like your, the number of lines on your textbook in middle school. But here it's mandatory. Every time the number of beats are complete on the stave, we have to put a line indicating bars. For example, if my piece is 4x4, four four, every time 4 beats is done, I have to make a line on both staves making a cut showing a, a bar. When writing or reading music, we have to pay attention to two things. How long the note is being played and how hard it's being played. These are indicated by the shape of the note and the in letter indication below. A semibrief is four counts. It is an oval with an empty core. Semibrief. We can divide the semibrief into two halves. It becomes a minim. A minim is an empty circle with a line on the back. It indicates two counts. Two minims equal one semibrief. Minim. We can cut the minim in half too. That makes one beat, which is a full circle with the same line in the back. Four crutches equal one semibrief, and two crutches equal one minim. Crutches. An eighth note. That's what. That's an eighth because it's one out of eight as long as a semibrief, making it. And an eighth note has a tail. Two eighths. When reading notes, the second most important thing we have to pay attention to is how strong we play the note. There, are, the most common indication is forte and piano. 
which in Italian mean hard and soft, respectively. PP, which stands for pianissimo, is light, uh, slower, softer. And FF, which indicates fortissimo, is harder. I will play uh, following the indications. Pianissimo. Piano. Forte. And lastly, fortissimo. Thanks for watching and see you in our second lesson.